What's up, Film Jammers? Today we're doing another lens test. Another lens test? Oh! We're comparing the Atlas Orion anamorphic lenses to the Cook S4 spherical lenses. So on my last film, I was trying to decide between these two sets of lenses. Each of them is really unique looking and really different, but they're both really nice. So I thought, why not compare them both side by side and see what's cooking? Mmm. Because cook lenses. <laughs> For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be adding a letterbox mask to the cook lenses in post. This is gonna simulate a similar field of view to the anamorphic lenses. And if you add a mask in post, this also lets you reframe the spherical lens shots, which is pretty nice. Now with the Atlas lenses, they're two times anamorphic lenses. So to get a similar field of view on the spherical cook lenses, we need to use a focal length that's about half that. So for the 65 millimeter Atlas lens, we're gonna use the 32 millimeter cook lens. And we're also gonna compare the 100 millimeter Atlas lens to the 50 millimeter cook lens. So to get a similar field of view on spherical lenses, have the focal length. A 100 millimeter anamorphic becomes a 50 millimeter spherical. Or you could just slice the lenses in half. What? <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so we have our Alexa Mini here, and we're popping on the Atlas Orion anamorphic 65 millimeter lens first. Let's see those anamorphic flares. Oh, oh, oh!
Okay, we have our lens focus chart set up right now. So this will let us see how sharp each lens is and the traits of the lenses, for example, how they distort or if they're softer around the edges. And this chart that we have was designed by Duclos Lenses. They're a general cinema lens guru, one of the best in the business. So check them out if you haven't. I'm gonna go uh, test these cinema lenses. Mm. Now the Cook 50 millimeter is similar in field of view to the 100 millimeter Atlas anamorphic. So we're doing a 50 millimeter right now to compare it to the 100 millimeter anamorphic lens.
I just want to take a second and thank you guys for watching. Film Jams loves creating videos for you. And if you're able to support the channel, we did just create a Patreon account, which helps us keep the ads off the videos. It helps us feed our crew. Mm. And it helps us buy sanitizer, face masks, and all those things we need to buy now to do our shoots. So thank you for supporting. Patreon links are below if you can help out. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for checking out our lens test video. I hope it was helpful to see the Cooks and the Atlas lenses side by side, to see the differences in the bokeh and the flaring and just the image quality differences. Which lenses would you choose for your next film? Let us know down in the comments. And make sure to tune in next week where we check out the Blockbuster VFX pack from Big Effects. I'm Christian with Film Jams and we'll see you next time. Bye. Chop that up, Dylan. Make it good. Lightweight media. And if you add your mask in post, this also. Now this one's terrible. Let me do one more. Cut.